What's going on, you guys? So yeah, currently I am taking Luna to possibly go to the vet for a progression test, a reverse progression test, just to uh, go take her to the vet. And uh, as you guys can see here, I'll show you guys her temperature. And then after this, I'ma head out just to show you guys right here. I'll show you. That should be a 98.5. Double check again. 98.5, 98.3. It usually fluctuates, but 98 is good, so. Yep, here we go. All right, guys. So yeah, I'll see you guys at the vet, and uh, yeah, we'll see what's up with the reverse progesterone. And uh, yeah, all right, guys. Peace. Here you go, you guys. She is nesting right now, y'all. Look at that. At every, every place, she don't really like to bend pillows, but now she wants to bend pillows and uh, yeah, possibly lay her puppies. You guys, man. When a female comes to labor, not really at the state of labor yet. But this is like the the pre pre labor symptoms. Look at her. I don't know if you guys can tell, but she is shaking a little bit, and uh, I can feel her. And she's shaking. She's like shivering. And, uh, she's like probably possibly looking around somewhere, you know, trying to find a spot. But yeah, she's shaking right now. Yeah, what's wrong? Mm, little nice, it's okay. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And then we are gonna go to the vet. Let's see what's up, y'all. Peace. There's no way he'll pie. <laughs> pie, yeah. <laughs> because Rush don't carry pie. Yeah. But Luna does. You only need one copy, right? Oh, but she's a carrier, though. Be hella fucked up. There's three pies. <laughs> 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 oh shit, we'll see guys. I'm 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 gonna be fucked up if that shit happens man. If that's the case then yeah I understand the price would get lowered but <laughs> but alright. No, but we haven't seen it yet so my dad already said that I oh, hope we got some rare colors. Guys this whole time I didn't even say shit about that. Hopefully we get some but I don't know. What are you thinking dad? We're gonna make a bet right now. One red stable and okay. two lilacs. Two lilacs? Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna Blue. say one lilac, one red fawn, and well two red fawns. I was gonna go with another fawn, but I'm gonna go with that. So we'll see about that. Alright guys. <laughs> you guys guess who won the bet? I did, bro. <laughs> so I told you guys, I know what's up, bro. But well, here we go. Uh one lilac, which is female. No, male. One lilac like male or possibly blue male. The other two are um, red fawn. Uh, possibly a blue red fawn blue. Like blue red fawn, if you know what I mean. With the blue mask, possibly. And yeah, those two are females. So yeah, we will see what's up. Poss uh, sucks that I didn't get another one with four. Because I said three pops before. So there's only three pups. So I kind of figured. So, you know, I'm not really that surprised. But hey. Totally okay, and Luna is all good. That's all that matters, man. And uh, yeah, talk to you guys in a bit. I gotta take care of things right here, and then uh, yeah, I'll be going to Georgia. All right, guys, love you. Peace.
ain't licking now. Yeah. <laughs> Tastes the good shit, huh, Luna? Yeah. You hot? Luna's hot, y'all. Good girl, good mama. You good mama, huh? Yeah. You want some more shit? <laughs> Also, uh, I, I I even signed to do a K laser for them for oh, to heal so up. Oh, y'all don't have to worry about yeah. stitches. Oh, okay, like about the stitches oh, really? and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, they so, did. It was only like twenty five bucks, so yeah. it should heal up even faster. Yeah. Okay. So there's no staples we have to remove. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Only you, the only thing you gotta do is just give her medicine. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, we need you guys. The yeah, like uh, amoxicillin because they said they should possibly might have aspirated during the uh, C section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but even that, every uh, you just give her one tablet every uh, every twelve hours. Every 12 hours. Yeah. So. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so y'all don't have to worry about that. Okay. Yeah, this Luna, you got. Yeah, because she does all the staples. Yeah. Whenever the C section comes. Yeah. That. What's the what's the price range over here for C section? Uh, you pay nine hundred. Yeah, we we pay nine eighty four today. So yeah. we pay nine fifty, and then they run the they run the reverse progesterone. Yep. Yeah, we we do that. Yeah, we, we do that. We all do that. Yeah. So we don't trust the you know what yeah. day is it? So yeah. She was at point four when we put uh, we took her. So yeah. Yeah, she was like really ready. ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our vet does. I don't. He doesn't have that laser. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's new technology, they said. So I was like, because I've seen it before. I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. It's only 25 bucks. Ooh. So you don't have to worry about blood and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because it gets all nasty in the stomach and you have to clean it or the pups can get all into it too. Yeah. So. Did, did, did you check, see how, how big they color? It was pretty good. Uh, I don't Not think they cut big. too big. Oh. Yeah. Which one you guys looking at? I, know you I think two. I'm going to go three, possibly four. I'm, I might just go over the full four weeks. I know it. I think once you hit, because all that matters is the first week. Yep. I know that too. Yeah. But it's okay because yeah. I got school. You know, I just don't want to take care of them at all. Yep. I just want you to go through all the way with it, and I don't care. You know, yeah. I got money. It's okay. Yeah, because we, we, do, we do three to four weeks. Yeah. And then after that, they don't need them on no more. Yeah. You know? So that's that's why I say it's okay. Yeah. You know? For us, it's always the first day. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's scary. And then the week. Yeah. After a week, you're in the clear. Yeah. You know? No, nah, I got you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to take your shape. They want to take the over. Yeah. So come on. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we good. Because we don't have he. He don't have time. Yeah. So yeah. I, I work too much. Yeah. Because I know, like three weeks, we'll be good. But I'm like, I'm clear, but I, yeah. I might just go for the fourth week. Yeah. Just be like, because I got someone that put a deposit in already too. Two people actually, so I might only just sell one pup, and then let's see what's up with the other yeah. two. So we'll see. How many girls are there? Two. Girl, one two girls. Boy. Okay. Yeah, the boys that I like right there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah. But she's still droopy too. She's still really droopy. Yeah. I could tell when she was walking around. Yeah. But you know, she, she, formula and then they suck on it and then oh the formula shit. come out. So you can feed five at the same time. Just put them up there. They won't aspirate with that nope. too. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Damn, that's pretty cool. So if you only got like say three plugs, they, they got plugs. So Damn. you can plug in the holes that you don't no. use. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we Damn. once they hit like three, four weeks, then we move them onto that. Oh okay. shit. Yeah. That's pretty good. That is pretty cool. I never seen that. Yeah. What is that thing called? Whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. 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 Cylinder. <laughs> yeah. Cylinder of milk feeder. I don't know. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> 
K Dog was the one that uh, told me about it. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> that so, is pretty so cool. So I used it. I was like, damn. damn. It's easier to feed it one at a time with the bottle, you know? Yeah. So we just put them all up there. They just suck it. Yeah, and two feeding's hard too because you got to make sure you do it right. Yeah. And you have to switch it out too sometimes yeah. when it gets messy or yeah. dirty. Make sure no. you go into the stomach, not the lungs. Yeah. Man, you know, yep. You're ready to go. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Yeah, just record the whole I gotta setup. Work tomorrow. <laughs> I, gotta, I, gotta, I, gotta, I got a long drive back home yeah. too. Huh? Yeah. So, damn. So you got yeah, north, not south. Yeah, north. <laughs> Man, that's a long drive. Yeah. yeah. So, Ooh. whatever it takes, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. Oh, uh, all right. All right, thank you. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Hey, guys. So, yeah, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video pretty much uh, with Luna's breeding. And uh, hopefully you guys learned something from that, man. And uh, just never panic. You know, stay on watch your female. As you guys saw there, literally Luna's temperature just literally just dropped right there. And I tell you guys, like, once the temperature drops, you have to know, at least know that symptom, right? To know if your female is going to go be... Gonna be be going into labor <laughs> and uh yeah i knew she was gonna go into labor and when she you know because especially if it's like your first time like doing something like this it is scary like especially if you don't know you know what is going down you know going on going down um you know the first couple of times it was pretty damn scary for me right it, it was pretty scary like i i didn't know what to expect you know i just literally just take it to the vet and let them handle it but then now i you know a couple years in learning from my dad as well well learning from myself honestly you know me and my dad were learning it together and because we never really dealt with c-sections and dogs and uh, because we did bullies before like my dad did bullies i didn't do it but um they didn't need c-sections right so they were okay bullies but um yeah, French Bulldogs now, a whole different ball game, how to do C-sections, uh, whether or not the female is capable of doing it, you know, runs in the pedigree as well. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it, man. That is pretty much it. Hopefully you guys learned some from that, man, just because from going through the process of it and it taking Luna to the vet, and now that she's going through surgery and then she's all good, wakes up, healthy and strong that's all that matters um because you have to sign a waiver you guys saw there you, you have to sign a waiver to, because anything can happen you know cardiac arrest or the, the dog can die you know anything so it's literally all that matters because every time i go to the vet i just always ask you know if, if everything is all good so yeah man really really stoked about that uh bruce was doing you know bruce was pretty good bruce was hella good man uh, i checked out his crib when I dropped Luna off and I checked everything out, you know, asked him a couple questions and this guy knows what's up. So yeah guys, shout out to Bruce, man. Shout out to Bruce up in Georgia. If you guys are interested, uh, you know, having to have somebody take care of your litters, I trust this guy, man, because this guy knows how to two feed IV fluids, separating puppies and people don't even know that. Separating puppies because when they suck off of each other, they get diarrhea. So you guys probably wanna know like why I, I don't do this service. It's because man, it's it's painful, man. Like I can't I can't do it. You know, no matter how much money you give me, I just won't do it. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe in the future if I'll ever want to, but at the moment right now, I don't know. <laughs> I really do not know. So, I guess love you guys so much, and um, that's pretty much it. You know, here are the babies right here. Roach, what are you doing, son? Hey, dude. What are you doing, man? Roach. What's up, buddy? There's daddy right there. Toss him, man. Toss you playing the grass, buddy. Hey, old man. What's up, buddy? And, uh, yeah. Uh, Beeper's over there, so... Alright guys, that's pretty much it, man, that I wanted to uh, talk to you guys pretty much about today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the content and learned something from it once again. And uh, yeah, for your first upcoming litters, your first time, hopefully you do not panic. And uh, if you do, just learn, and just know it's okay. Just embrace it and learn from it, you know? Love y'all. Peace.